too hard. But wow. We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. The wow, hair's coming along. There's no need to so hide just this when side as well. I have uh, this side left and down. the back. Just pull them out one at a time. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another chapter. I'm here doing my hair. I started baby cakes here last night, so I never got a chance to do mine. And I have to finish her hair today because she's going with her daddy tomorrow. So this is the side that I've retightened so far. Just want you guys to like see the difference between over here and here. So yeah. So I'm gonna put this in a ponytail now and just start the rest of them. I love it. And it's doing really good so far. I love it. These are definitely size mine are micro locks. They're not sister locks because I have I have um less than 400 and from what i've been reading sister locks is anything from 400 and up so mine are considered micro locks all right that works as native applications right here on your Mac or PC. So what's that mean? It means you can play Rift yeah. with amazing graphics and fun. If you're already Hello, a mobile guys. player, click login and Say use the hi. email I'm Roby. you already entered in your mobile device. <laughs> when you're done, I'll download the Play and Play fun. installer file by clicking download. Once the download finishes, just run the file, follow the prompts, and then just kick back while the installer Robbie. does its thing. You never change your diapers. I'm now almost done. Play play. Just one Nairobi, Nairobi, I'm almost done. Just, just hang on. You're ready to start playing. Just one diaper. Now press play. Official I'm Discord almost server, done. Powerful, Reddit, and more. Good luck, and we'll see you in the arena. Hold on. Oh my God. Oh, Robbie. It didn't even do properly. <sighs> At AUC, we believe Look in you put yourself through diversity. At AUC, we believe in fun. We believe in taking care of each other. We believe in collaboration to achieve excellence. Hello. Hello. You playing? Careful. Good job. Look at you, baby. Baby. That Roby. Say hi. 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 <laughs> you have a twin? You got a little twin? Yeah. Hi. Mm. I'm up in my fridge and I'm all done. My hair took me approximately four hours. So everything's all nice. And retighten, and you see how it lays differently when it's retightened. Like your hair will shrink a lot when you're doing um, these locks. So I know my hair might appear longer one day and then shorter the next. That's because when it starts to lock, everything just starts to coil and sometimes even bud. Like it starts to make like these little buds within it because that's just the hair kinking up on itself and all that good stuff. Once the locks are formed, you just have to start worrying about growth. Then all that nice growing starts. Alright, 
right, so I'm happy to be done mine. I'm gonna start kittens, finish up kittens now. Is that good? Are you juicy? Thank you. Okay. All right, cuz. Put your head down, Cosy. Ruby. Hey, okay, okay. Ruby. Come on, then. Kiss Lock is coming along. Very nice. Bring me a dog. I've got a dog. I'm making some cabbage and mushrooms. A little bit of sausage in there for dinner, and I'm gonna make you some broth food. This is LOL Century, you guys. Mom, do you have another box? That is dinner. When I make my plantains, I have to burn it a little bit. I don't know why. It's, just, it's a part of the day. Nairobi. Just hold on. Look at her. She's so anxious when it comes to food. Hold on. It's hot, Baba. She don't want to really tell her nothing. Here. Here, 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 here. here. <laughs> Nairobi. You're gonna break your neck. Stop that. I don't know why you babies have to throw over yourself. Uh, yes. It's magic. Look at me! I've got So I'm gonna go and fill my um, prescription at the pharmacy now. Because I've had it for a few days and I keep um, forgetting to fill it. So I'm gonna go fill it. Or at least drop it off and pick it up in the morning. Depend on how long it's gonna take them to get it ready so he can start that tomorrow. Where's my purse? My purse is. Getting a late night snack. I have to go for some fries. So I'm just getting some fries. I'm always so paranoid when I come out. I always um, make sure my doors are locked and you know, my windows up after I'm done doing what I'm doing. Can't trust nobody in today's day and age, man. You can't put nothing past nobody. So it's like, I'm always like very super cautious about my surroundings. Anywhere I'm going, I always let somebody know, always send the address of wherever I'm going. If it's a pickup I'm doing, I send them the person's profile or as much information I can gather as possible. The location. <laughs> That I'm supposed to meet these people. Sometimes I'll even have put them on speaker while I'm doing the transaction. Like, I'm just really, really cautious about my surroundings and what I do, where I go, and all that stuff. You know. God, you can't be. You can never be too careful in this world. You know, stuff I'm done. I'm pretty nervous about the medications for Maxi. I don't know. I just, when it comes to medication, I've just never really been one for it. I, I've never believed in medicating your children and all of that stuff, you know. Like, I remember when Craig was super hyper and people are saying maybe he has this, maybe he has that. You should probably get him diagnosed, put him on meds and this. And I'm just like, no. I don't, see, that's a problem. You don't try with your children and you just take them and medicate them away and then think that's okay and it's just not you know it's not 
sometimes all kids need that little bit of patience. Yes, there are those children that do need this, but you know, not all children are like that. And sometimes I feel like that's where the system failed children is. They just try to sedate them rather than actually help them deal with the problem, help them come to a solution to the problem, if that makes sense. They just wanna just put a label on them and medicate all of them, sedate all of them, and it's, I don't like it. So it's like, oh, I'm really like nervous about this because you know, because the doctor did let me know like, you know, this is not a cure. The medication is just going to treat the symptoms. But yes, if he does stop the medication, yes, there is a chance that the symptoms may come back. And well, that doesn't make me feel good as a mom because I don't want to give him all this medicine just for it to stop. And then all the symptoms just come back. That's why I was kind of iffy about it where I was like, maybe I should just do the surgery since the surgery is a one time fix and we just solve the problem. But he did it. He felt the surgery was a little invasive and he didn't think Max was to that extreme where he needed that. So he really just said, you know, let's please, let's just try the medication for just a few months and then we'll relive the situation and see what happens. And if no change, then we'll do the surgery. So yeah, my doctor, our family doctor got the results. Also, he booked um, a, um, a, what do you call me a consult? He booked an appointment with me so he can go over it. So that will be Friday. So we'll go over it and I'll hear what he wants to do. If he wants to, um, me to um, start Max on the meds or if he wants us to get a second opinion, that kind of thing. I trust this doctor's opinion because like I said, we've been doing, we've been going back and forth with him over the phone for pretty much a year. And you know, I, I've seen the results of Max's test and I understood what, how he, what he explained to me and all of that. And honestly, I just want the best for my son. I want him to be okay. I want him to be happy. I want him to enjoy his sleep like the other kids. And I don't want him to feel, you know, like I'm trying to medicate away his problems or symptoms or, you know, we always try so hard that we don't want to fail our kids. And sometimes I think we overthink things sometimes. And me, I, you guys know me when it comes to my kids. I overthink things, I overanalyze things, I am overprotective, I'm just, I just want them to be okay, I want them to be happy, that's always just been my one priority, is just for them to be happy and be good in life and just be who they want to be and to know that I love them to the moon and back and I go hard for my kids and you know, I just want them to be okay, so I really hope this medicine um, gives us some positive results, because I the risk factors there were so many different risk factors and that's i think that's also what scared me a little bit was i was like dang some of these medications the risk seems more than the actual problem you have literally the line of risk and side effects and it's just so scary sometimes okay, now let's try it. <laughs> so i'm just like oh boy but you know we're gonna take it in strides let's see what happens i'll watch him for the first week see how he's taking the medication and yeah, we'll just go from there. <sighs> but, you know, I'm glad to finally have some answers to those night terrors that's just been tormenting him for so long. I remember so many nights he'd be scared. Even though he had no recollection of the night terror, I think he just knew something was trub like troubling him. Like, I remember many nights he just wouldn't go to sleep. He would fight to stay awake. He just always seemed traumatized, but he would never ask to sleep with me. I don't know. That, maybe it's a boy thing. He just never asked to sleep in my bed. That was more Caitlin. Yeah, and he just always seemed so traumatized to go to sleep like he was expecting something to happen to him. Or So I'm really happy to finally get some answers. So I'm really just going to try and let the doctor lead on this one and see what happened while, you know, being cautious and watching out for any little things. So I'll see you guys. Good night, take friends.